Hi, and my name is Fanny, and I'll be doing my RGB split tutorial. The thing about RGB split is that you need two things. Sony Vegas, obviously, and new blue effects. You can do without new blue effects, but I prefer to because it makes my life easier, and I don't like doing without it. So I'll only explain the new blue effects for you to do it. The thing about RGB split is that you want to, you can't just put it anywhere. It has to be on the downbeat of like a snare drum or a bass drum or cymbal crash. It's some percussive instrument. So I'm going to go through my audio and mark a place that I think is good for a RGB split. So I marked it right here because it has a pretty crash thing. Or it's just the beat, okay? <laughs> and then I'll split it using the S button. So I want my RGB split from here to here. So I split it. Then make two new video tracks. Three. Oh my god, I can't count. Okay, <laughs> copy paste each of them. Put your split segment into each of them. Make sure it's on like it's on the same place. Like don't do that right there. It looks bad. So I have all three of them now. Then go to video effects into channel blend. Set the first one to red only. Set the second one to green only. And the third to blue only. Don't do anything on your original track, because just don't. Then set all the three duplicated tracks to screen. See, now it looks terrible, but we'll fix that. Then go to new blue effects, either active camera or earthquake. And I prefer earthquake, because I do, and it's just easier for me. And then you just want to set, honestly, just random stuff. And just play with it. For the purposes of this tutorial, I'm not going to like actually try and spend a lot of time doing these. So I'll just put it through random stuff now. <laughs> this looks horrible, I'm sorry. I would spend more time like actually trying, but Good enough. Normally, if I was making a real one movie, I would actually spend some time making this actually look nice. But for now, I'm just gonna set it to RAM stuff. And go with it. I think that's a bit too long, so I'm gonna shorten this up a bit. No one needs an RG split like that long. <laughs> that's really how you do RG split. But I'm gonna do one more thing that's optional, so you don't have to do this. I'm going to pre-render it onto my desktop because I don't want to make another folder because I'm lazy. And then I'll take, I'll erase my original tracks, stick it in. What I have to do personally is add a transition in between the original layer, original part, and the RGB part. So I'm going to split it and add just some transitions because I like to. And I'm really like that. Right now, I'm not gonna care what transitions I do. Normally, I would actually like try some out, but for now, <laughs> I'll add a random shake too, because why not? Everyone likes shakes. Ah, uh, computer stop logging on it, please. Mercy. <laughs> okay, it wants to lag, so, uh, okay, there you go. So I'm just playing around with keyframing right now, which is something I like to do for some odd reason. And, <laughs> and I'll add, why not add some linear blur? Of course, Rachel likes to say it, linear blur. I don't like the splash at the end, so I'm gonna change it back to a fade. Uh, I don't know which fade I'm gonna use there. <laughs>
that's really all Archery Split is. Thanks for watching.